Can you keep a secret? Tell me what I don't know. No for some honor, but no letting go. Hi guys, my name is Suzanne Padraig, aka okay, Suzy Suzy Savage, and this is MTV Sugar Ninja Season 5. Spill the and in my hot seat, in my table, in my own personal corner of the premiere event, I have the one. So, introduce yourself, Flix. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Harmony and I'm so excited to be here. Um, Harmony is a whole lot of persons in one. I am a serial entrepreneur, I'm a fashion influencer, I'm an influencer, channel influencer, I'm an event planner. If it's legit, you are seeing me there. I'm making the money, I got a can de mula. Her. Her is where the bag is at, where you see the bag, that's where you see Harry. Say no more. So that's Harry, it. I have a couple of questions for you considering well, the go. topics that we spoke about let's go. for let's MTV, go. Sugar let's Niger. Go. So, what would you do if you find out someone that you're being sexually active with has HIV? Okay, so... Um, how would you react? How would I react? So for me, over time, have I have learned to, you know sensitize myself about the whole HIV and AIDS thing. If it was before, mm -hmm. fire for fire. <laughs> you know, I reverse roll on the floor and say, wow, he's a data man. <laughs> but right about now, I think the first thing I would do is actually go check myself up because at the end of the day, I mean, I've been involved with this person. I do not know if I've gotten it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I check myself and if I have, I mean, I just start the, the um, necessary procedures, getting on the drugs and, you know, just trying to live my life. Because me, I'm one of these people that when things happen, I don't wallow in self-pity. Yeah. I just say, you know, well, what's the solution? Let's move on. Let's go. And then we keep it kicking. But if it was beef, oh, if it was beef, oh, <laughs> excuse me, <sir. laughs> they're going to be battle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how do you think your parents or like people close to you would react if today I just say, um, guys, what's up? I just found out that how many has HIV. Like, how do you think they react? Okay, so one thing I have been grateful to God for is the kind of family and the friends that I have. Um, I remember there was a certain time in my life where I failed law school and my family and friends were literally like, yo, it's we just law school. It. We don't give a fuck. And they literally were feeling the pain, but they couldn't because you know, they just wanted to support me, mm -hmm. right? So I know one thing, first is first. They can cry in their locker and scream. But my family and my friends, they're going to pull through, man. Period. They're going to be there for me. And so grateful for that community. And this is why you should have good family and friends. Energy, exactly. Because if you don't have good family and friends, when you have HIV, they will You're going to suffer. <laughs> You're going to suffer. Nobody's going to eat with your spoon. Period. <laughs> actually, that's actually so true. Guys. So, I have a question. So now, do you think, like, Nigerians are more aware about, self, like, HIV and self, like, testing, like, HIV, AIDS and everything else? Okay. Because you know so, now you yeah. can self-test. Like, you can yeah. get kids. You can yeah. test. Do you think, like, it's something that Nigerians actually know about? And do you think it's something that should be spread more, like, awareness about? You know, HIV sensation should be actually be done, like, it's just like malaria. Mm -hmm. You know, let everybody see it as, oh, you have to do it. Yeah. And then... The self-test kit is such an you know an amazing idea because mm -hmm. because of stigmatization, it's Nigeria that we are. All this matron in the general speech. Oh, please. Our mommy nurse. So they, mm, this mm. one is HIV. Do you understand? Like, like they don't want to know that you can actually get HIV through um the uh, clipper, you know, different things, you know. And then once they see that you're HIV positive, you are a halot. You are a position. Yeah, nah, kuna, kuna, kuna. Yeah, skipping, skipping, so skipping. I think we need to do a lot of sensation in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I think um, the news about that is not well spread properly as a, as of now. So people still think they have to go to the hospital. Whereas you can actually just get this kit and you can literally just yeah, it's made your it so room. easy for us. And you know from your room. Actually, and you just do that from the next thing, what am I taking next and things like that. So yeah. Okay, so before you leave my hot seat, my own of corner, <laughs> you have to tell us like what you enjoyed the most about this episode that we just previewed for you. And it has to be that you tell me that it's my face. Because if it's not my face, oh yeah, you can start standing let up. Not be, let it not be, let it not be like, because she said it. Uh -huh. But actually, um, when I saw the first episode, one of the things that, I could, maybe because I, I know Suzanne, right, outside the episode, she bodied that role. Like, literally, I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, that's, like, even there was a part where she was doing like, Ugh. I like that is Susan. Don't play. So yeah, I mean, I feel like um, the high school setting. Your character was really amazing, and I just want to see because I mean, it was just one episode that I saw, and I'm intrigued to watch more. So I cannot wait to see everything. I can't wait for you to experience the sugar that we've created. Thank amazing. you so much for You're coming welcome. on my spill You're the welcome. tea. You're welcome. And I can't wait to see you. You know, you know, you know, silence. you know. Baby, fire down. You know, need silence. Yeah.